Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to Soul Vibes Tarot if you're new here. So today we're doing a pick a card reading all about you and basically what is it about you that makes you so attractive and desirable and lovely and <laughs> lovable, sexy and all the things that make you just super magnetic and attractive. So I'm excited to do this reading. I love to do these types of readings. Uh, and we also have an extended. So in the extended, we're going to get into who you are attracting with this energy that you have um, or like who's coming towards you romantically. Uh, so that's in the extended if you want to uh, view that on Vimeo. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you do, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am. My calendar is open uh, for February, so you can go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link to that in the description box below. You can also follow me on Instagram. Um, and let's get into your piles. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one is pink aura quartz. Pile two is amazonite. And pile three is amethyst. All right, so if you need to take a moment to pause the video, tune into your intuition, choose a pile, go ahead and do that. And whenever you're ready, I left the timestamps in the description box below, and I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile one, welcome to your reading. So if you chose this pink aura quartz, then this is gonna be your reading about you <laughs> about what makes you so desirable and sexy and attractive now this could be just in general like what makes you so attractive to just people in general or if you have somebody in mind then to that person so just apply how it resonates but i, I think i'm going to be referring to just people in general in the reading but if there's you know someone specific you're thinking of just translate that in your mind Okay, so we have our first tarot card here that is going to kind of give me an overview of what makes you so desirable and attractive, and then we'll be pulling a bunch more cards, including some physical characteristics, personality traits, and then some oracle and tarot cards. And we also have an extended to this reading, so if you're resonating with this in the extended, we're going to see who are you attracting with your energy. So who is coming towards you um, kind of romantically, you know, what kind of person are you attracting with this sexy energy that you have? Um, if you already have someone in your life, then, you know, whoever you're attracting in whatever way. Um, okay, so we have the chariot. So what makes you so sexy and attractive and desirable is the chariot energy. So first of all, on this card, she seems to be flying high on her horse, on her high horse. <laughs> and she just seems so happy and so free. Her hands are up in the air. Her hair is blowing. Her, you know, it just, it seems so free and expressive. And she seems so joyful and happy. So I think overall, you just have this very happy, joyful energy. For some reason, when I look at this card, this reminds me of the sun card in the tarot, which I know that this isn't but that's kind of what it reminds me of but um like you're just very radiant and vibrant and happy and fun and colorful uh and this the chariot is cancer energy so we'll talk about both the card and the cancer energy just you know so you know what makes you so attractive but i feel like you're the type of person like what really people love about you the most like what they're really attracted to you about is that you are so ambitious and motivated to conquer your dreams and to go after what you want but i think that you do it in a more like you're not impulsive and you don't jump into things this is more like it's that cancer energy right so you're kind of in your shell and you come out of your shell once you know that you like once you feel safe and um, once you know that something is going to pay off, right? So you need, you maybe you're not just like impulsively taking action. You're more methodical about it and thoughtful about it. But once you set your mind to something and once you know like what you want, you are so determined to achieve it and nothing can stop you. And I think people really feel this energy that like you can't be messed around with, you can't be fucked with. Um, because once you commit to something, like, you're there all in full force, just, like, very powerful. 
Um, but you also have this other nature to you. It's this duality. Um, you also have this other nature to you that is very protective, self-protective and sweet and more innocent and um, just like sensitive and very, very um, in tune and intuitive. So you have this other, this like feminine and masculine side to you. Um, you know, the chariot is a cancer card, which is ruled by the moon. So I feel like people really sense your motherly, like nurturing nature or like wifey energy. So especially if you're talking, if, if you are a female, um, you know, and you're attracted to the opposite sex and they really pick up on this about you, that you you would be a really great wife or girlfriend and you would really be able to take care of the family or take care of them or just like provide that kind of... Um, um, like cozy, coziness, right? Like comfort. Um, and I think that people, what people also really, what really attracts them to you is just like how focused you are and disciplined you are and how much self-control you have and how strong your boundaries are. Um, you know that like you might, it, it might, like I said, it might be a little bit harder for you to open up and just like freely express yourself um, because you don't want to get hurt and you want, because you, because, okay, you have so much love to give and you are such a sensitive person that if people, if everybody had access to you, I feel like you could, you could be very, very vulnerable and you could genuinely be hurt because you could be like even a highly sensitive person. You are just really sensitive because you pick up energies and sensitive not as in like, oh, you, you cry all the time or something. Sensitive as in like you really sense energies around you. You, you are very aware of other people and how they feel and... Um, you know, like the the little things that they say or do, you're you're hyper focused, hyper alert to that, and so it you could take tend to absorb a lot of their energy, and also you could tend to take things personally. My ear just started ringing, so I don't know what that means, but um, you could tend to take things very personally, and um, because of your more sensitive nature, and so you really have to do a good job at protecting yourself and having strong boundaries so you're not just letting everybody in, because when they are in and you are close to them, like, you let it all out, like, you show them who you are, you know, and because that person is so, like, vulnerable, if you let the wrong people in, you know, they might hurt you. But this is all things that find you, like this dual energy that you have, this like very kind of even mysterious, um, intuitive, like deeper um, psychic energy that you have. Like you feel things, you're very observant, you see things, but also you're very like more masculine um, side where you're, when you set your mind to something, you go for it, you have a lot of courage, a lot of strength, and you don't stop until you get there. Um, but you might be one of those types of people who's like shy at first, and then once you become comfortable, you're like the life of the party. That could be, maybe not the life of the party, that's more like Leo energy, it's not so much Cancer, but definitely a lot more comfortable in your skin and, and just expressing who you are once you're around people that you can trust. Uh, let's pull some more cards. So what makes pile one desirable and attractive? Okay, so we have the page of swords. So yeah, you are very perceptive and intuitive and you definitely pick up on like little communication, like little cues and like the, the little ways that people communicate, even if it's through body language or um, just like, the, yeah, the way that somebody looks at you, the way, the tone of their voice, their hand movements, their facial expressions, um, the time it takes for them to respond. Like, you know, if it takes an extra four seconds, you know, you sense that, okay, maybe this person's a little uncomfortable or they don't know what to say or whatever, like those little things, you're very good at picking up on that. And, um, this like more intuitive nature of yours, this very perceptive nature, I think people really are drawn to. Because I think people feel really seen by you. People feel really understood and seen by you. And also, you make it really easy for people to open up to you. So this is why I was saying that you, you might, like you have strong boundaries because people are so drawn to your energy because you you have like a healer energy yeah you have like a kind of like a life coach healer i can help you with your, your problems type of energy you're just so um compassionate and caring you know and you genuinely want to help people and nurture people and 
um, people sense this about you. So you attract a lot of people to you and they open up to you. They want to have conversations with you. They want to tell you their life story and you're just a great listener. So you're going to be over there listening to it. But you know, if you let everybody in, then you're going to either be depleted or, you know, their energy is going to be affecting you in some way because you are so sensitive to energy. So you are very strong at putting up a boundary and being like, no, like I don't have the space for this right now, you know? So people definitely sense that, um, you have a lot of self-respect but they love to talk to you so people love to have come they have really good conversations with you they um and these these might not have to be like deeper conversations they can just be just like a lot of intellectual conversations a lot of like wit and humor um i think people think that you're really funny and you're like quick-witted and you respond quickly and you know what you're talking about you're fun to be around you're a good conversationalist it's never boring when they talk to you like there's always something to say and it's like a lot of quick back and forth good flow um, people are very curious about you as well. I think you spark their curiosity. They're like, hmm, I want to learn more about this person. This person has depth, um, depth of emotion. They like, I, like they sense, yeah. Um, people, I think sense that you can help them or help them heal, or maybe that you can give them advice or find answers, something like that. What makes pile two? so desirable and attractive but it definitely something has to do with your mind this is libra gemini aquarius energy mainly gemini for me the page of swords just like that quick communication more like playful youthful energy i'm um, just very intrigued and curious so i think you definitely have that it's very inviting your energy it's it's like um you know you open you're you you seem very open to talking to people um, we also have the Magician with more Gemini and Virgo energy and then the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I also, and the the Page of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, okay. So you have very, very like youthful, young, vibrant, bubbly, happy energy. Just like I think you're really fun to be around. People really enjoy your company. They can have a good time with you. You make people laugh. Um, but you're, you have like this sweet, and in its sweetness and innocence to you this like purity to you where even though like you are somewhat like you don't come out of your comfort zone out of your shell unless you know for sure you're going to succeed i think that's something maybe even that you're like learning or it's like a protection mechanism or something that you're working on but you that doesn't mean like maybe that's like in bigger things in life but i think that when you're just having like conversations with people um with the page of cups and the page of swords being here is just showing me that when you're communicating with people it's not just logical and coming from intellect and just your knowledge and you know it's a very emotional base like you're you're um you wear your heart on your sleeve and you express yourself emotionally and you have feeling to what you're saying and this it's not dry it's not cold it's not intimidating or threatening like you're not threatening you're a very warm person to be around and it's so easy to talk to you like everybody wants to talk to you there's so much communication energy here um three cards out of five are about communication so i think one of the main things that makes you attractive is the way you communicate or the way you make people feel comfortable in opening up to you and communicating with you um, it's just easy to talk to you. You're not judgmental. They feel very accepted by you. They feel very heard and like you'll listen to them. Um, it's just a very com comfortable, you know, interaction. And they also sense though that you're very powerful. Like you're magical with the magician coming out. Okay. So you have some sort of magic to you that is, um, kind of mysterious. You, seem to be like spiritual to people or there's something about you that is more unique or eccentric um again like a lot to do with communication like the way that you communicate and express yourself is just really sexy to other people maybe you have a really nice voice that could be also a thing um i do want to mention with the chariot being cancer energy physically i think um your breasts or your chest area is something that people find really sexy about you like if you wear low-cut shirts um if you're a woman and like you wear low-cut shirts and there's like a little bit of cleavage or even if not like your neck area is like really um attractive like when you show that off 
um, like open open shirts, like open neck shirts. Um, and with Gemini energy be, being here, your hands, you could be really good with your hands. Um, so people might find it really attractive, maybe the way that you like move your hands or like when you're pouring, you know, a drink, like the way you hold the glass or um, the way you do things with your hands, you know, even in the bedroom, like you're good with your hands um, or just like the way that they look, you know, like they just, they look nice. Um, also, if you're a guy, uh, your, your, you know, muscles, like your chest area, whatever that, that is sexy as well. Um, yeah. Okay. So also we have the nine of pentacles here and the nine of pentacles, um, this is like literally the card of like being sexy and attractive to other people. So, uh, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people have their eyes on you and a lot of people recognize you as a very abundant, self-sufficient, independent, strong, empowered, I got my shit together type of person. Um, whether or not you actually have it going on, you know, I know we're all a hot mess or we think we're a hot mess, you know, behind closed doors, but the way that you present to the world, the way that other people, the people around you, your significant other, your love interest, whatever, they view you as super, super sexy and attractive and magnetic and, and like, you, like you can manifest anything. Um, another thing, yeah, that people are really attracted to you about or for or whatever preposition you want to put in there, um, is that you're really, you have, I think you've like, because of this determined nature of yours, I think you manifested something huge in your life. Like maybe you have your own business or you're just really well off financially or you have a lot of nice things. Like this is like a very materialistic card, like physical. So you could be like materialistically really well off. You could wear really nice clothes, have really um, a nice car, um, nice shoes, nice hair, nice attire, you know, just like your, the way you present yourself is very, um, it's like you take care of yourself, you know, and people notice this and it looks like you either have money or you're successful. This is also very attractive to people, like the way that you present yourself physically, your appearance and whatever it is that you do for a living, people find that really attractive. Like however it is that you make your money, um, and you're good at it and you're very successful at it. This is something that people find attractive or this person finds really sexy and attractive and how easy it is for you to manifest that. So I think you're the type of person who can just be like, I want this, you know, and you kind of declare to the universe, you put it out there, you don't even worry about it. And then, you know, 10 minutes later, there it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, so like maybe not 10 minutes later, but you know, you're, it's easy for you to manifest things in life. Um, you're very aligned with that energy of manifestation, which shows me that you are in a high vibration. And this, this is coming out with the chariot card too. It's like you're in this high vibrational energy and, uh, people are drawn to that. So it is, it is very much an energy thing for you, but it's also like physically, like there's something about you, the way that you dress, the way you present yourself, the way that you smell, the way that you style your hair and your fashion sense, you know, the things that you have, it's all value. Like it's valuable. Like it looks like it's, um, worth something <laughs> and like, yeah. So whatever your position or status in life is, is also really attractive to people. And I just think that you're, you're like funny, you're funny, you're fun to be around, you're a, a trickster, like a joker, jokester, whatever. Um, you just like to play around, joke around, have fun, be free. What makes Kyle one so sexy, hot, desirable, attractive, lovable, all the things? So we have... Yes, just say yes. <laughs> and the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Okay, so yes, just say yes. This card is giving me, and it's right under chariot. Now, this may or may not serve you individually, but this is about what people find attractive about you and what makes them 
um, I think of what makes them like attractive, like meaning like magnetic, right? So like what literally, like this is not necessarily like, oh, what makes you hot or sexy, attractive in energy. What attracts people to you? What draws people to you? What gets people to come towards you? Like literally come towards you without them even knowing that they're, they're coming towards you. What is it about you? And one of the things is that you are a very accepting loving like a yes person and that could like flow into being a people pleaser and maybe you do have tendencies of that because I know that cancer energy is like that but you just want everyone to be happy you want everyone to feel good and you want to just love and nurture everybody because that's in your nature you want everyone to just feel comfortable and good and you want to just love them um and Sometimes it's at your expense and sometimes you get drained. So that's why it's important for you to have boundaries. But in, in essence, like people sense this about you that you want to help, that you're there for them, that you're there to provide support and, and you're a compassionate human being, that you're not going to deny them. You're not going to reject them. You're not going to shut them out. You're not like you don't have it in you to do that. You know, even when you put up your boundaries, you're still very careful about making sure that people know that, hey, this isn't about you. I'm not rejecting you. I just need to take care of myself. You know, you're very gentle and like sweet about how you go about doing that. And I think people just really feel comfortable in your presence and trust you, trust you to op like they can open up to you and come to you because you're going to say yes. They ask you a question. You're going to say yes. You're going to say yes. And not in a way where you're abandoning your true self and just saying yes to everybody in a way that like you always make sure that people feel comfortable because you know, maybe you know what it feels like to be rejected. Okay, maybe you know what it feels like to be ignored or to not be seen for who you are or to not to be judged. And you hate that feeling. And you're so perceptive of your environment. You're so aware. You pick up on the smallest things. You can tell when somebody's hurt. You can tell when someone, you know, somebody says something mean and then you see the facial expression on that person and you're like, oh man, that person really got affected by that. You pick up on the smallest things and because you care so much, um, you don't want people to feel like that, especially from you. You know, you don't want people to feel like that by you saying no to them. So it's not that you say yes to everything, but even when you say no, it still sounds like a, a yes because you're still somehow making sure that they're okay. Like, do you, you know, I don't know, like you would never ask someone to just like leave. Like if you're done with a person, like you're hanging out with them and they're over your house, like your friend, okay, like your, your legitimate friend. Obviously, you're never going to reject your friend, right? But some some people are like, okay, well, I want I want to get to my stuff now, so I gotta go. Or can you leave? Like, when are you leaving? When are you leaving? Because I got shit to do. Like, some people will just talk like that, <laughs> and it's like, okay, I get it. Like, you're my friend, you love me, everything's good. But damn, that was a little harsh. Okay. <laughs> And whatever. And I just don't see you as being that kind of person. Even if you have to reject someone by kind of, not reject someone, but you know, deliver the harsh truth of like, hey, I gotta go or I need you to go. You're not, not gonna do it in that kind of way. You're gonna make it seem like you still love them. So it's like, hey, I'm, I really had a lot of things to do today. Would it be okay with you if, you know, um, I went about and did that, but um, can I call you later? Or is there anything that I can do for you? Or, you know, make plans for the next time. I don't know, in some way, like make sure that they know that you are still here and you love them You and it's not about them. It's just, you need your space. Um, I know that was like a really long winded explanation of the yes card, but uh, I, I hope that you know what I'm trying to say with that. Cause um, it's, it's that energy that really is attractive. Um, and then we also have the ever unfolding rose <clears throat> and I just feel like this is just your your um, understanding of life that things aren't happening to you they're happening for you and people observe this about you your ability to flow your ability to go with the flow and to not be a victim and not feel like oh you know, life is against me. Oh, the universe hates me. Oh, again, something bad. See, I'm just doomed for life. I'm cursed or this is just how it is all the time. Like, <laughs> you know, just complaining and stuff, acting like a victim. You don't act like that. You have a very positive perspective on life. You understand that when something bad happens, that it is happening for a reason because there's, there's delays because the universe knows best. So I do feel you have a strong connection to the spirit realm. And um, with the magician energy here as well, I think you understand that um, 
you're in you're a creator yeah like you're you're not a victim you're a creator you create your experiences so whenever it is that you are experiencing a series of negative events you check in with yourself and you're like uh how am i contributing to this energy how am i also creating these events and then you kind of align your energy and then you move forward accordingly because you know that you're a creator um, and again, this is something that either your close friends really love about you and they see that you do or people just sense this about you or your lover, you know, sees this. And a lot of this stuff is like, it's, it, it could be things that people are conscious of like, oh, I, I observe that you've done this. But for the most part, these are just things that people can't pinpoint and can't necessarily like articulate about you. But it's just something that is so attractive, like... Like it's your, it's, it's just this whole thing. And then like you inspire other people to also be like that. And then they don't even know, like it came from you, but it did. Yes. So that's beautiful. Okay. Let's get some personality traits here. So what about your personality are people attracted to the most? What about pile one's personality makes them the most attractive? and lovable and desirable okay we have arrogant mysterious accepting and non-judgmental i told you maybe reflective introspective maybe you come off arrogant um, to some people, well, this is something that they find attractive about you. So maybe you come off arrogant to some people when, um, cause it seems like you're pretty successful or at least like you go after the things, your dreams in life and you go after what you want. And it, if you, if you're the type of person that does it and you're able to manifest abundance, then you would probably have a lot of abundance and maybe you do come off sometimes or maybe people perceive you as arrogant you know and because you have so much and you're so successful um but in some ways this is this is maybe where you have your um i wouldn't say arrogant like not arrogant but like people sense that you are confident in yourself you have your shit together you know who you are no one can fuck with you even though you are such a lovely person you still have that strong boundary like when it really comes down to it you're about you're gonna stand up for yourself with warrior woman here and you're gonna be like no we're not doing that you know and so that's that's where that energy comes from and i think that maybe more for the opposite sex or like whatever sex is like you're interested in or is, is interested in you um they find this kind of sexy like that you're a little bit intimidating and scary it's i don't know <laughs> but yeah uh people love that you're mysterious and there's just something about you that's deeper and under the surface like under the um, cause the moon card is about your deeper self, your subconscious, you know, under the water, like the iceberg that, you know, you have just a little, um, yeah, that's actually in this deck, the, the moon card where you have like the tip of the iceberg showing and then underneath there's this huge rock, you know? And so that just shows that you have so much more to you under the surface that you don't show the world. So when people start to get to know you like more closely and on a deeper personal level, they get to uncover so much more to you and that you are very intelligent very deep you know a lot you're very emotionally intelligent as well and um you are so aware yeah so these are all things that we have talked about let's see what else we can get okay let's get some physical characteristics here so what physically makes pile one attractive so light skin so you could have light skin or whatever i think this is just like whatever kind of skin you have um it looks good like it glows light skin yeah i could also just be talking about like when the light shines on it like it just glows and it just looks really good you have probably really healthy skin um or it's really soft you know we have wild hair hazel eyes <laughs> business attire okay yeah that little businessman businesswoman vibe is, is what i was getting as well like yeah you you know how to dress um clean and put together yes 
So people are really attracted to how you present yourself, your appearance, how you dress, um, your style of clothing. I don't know, it's kind of giving me an eight life path vibe or like eight energy numerology. Um, so I think also a lot of people at work are attracted to you, probably because that's where you dress up for work so they just really like that um your eyes are really beautiful your hair the way you style it especially when it's crazy like if you do have a go-to hairstyle if that's something that you do and it's a little bit more wild than just like regular normal <laughs> um i think that's something that people find attractive so let's say you have naturally curly hair but you tend to straighten it all the time and then one day you wear it curly and it's a little crazy because it's curly, it's wild. That's what's really attractive to people. It's like, damn, like your natural hair, you know? Or if, when, if you do like color your hair, um, people find that like if you do color like different colors or just like, it's just a little bit out of the norm. That's something that people are really attracted to about you. Um, shorter hair and maybe people like your hair short or they, if you have shorter hair, that's something they like. Nice chest, yep. <laughs> people like your chest your breasts, um, and anything to do with that area. Whether, um, and if you're a girl or guy, if you're a girl, whatever size your boobs are, it doesn't matter. I think that is just, it's that area that's sexy or whoever has seen you naked before, they just really like what is there, whatever the situation is. Um, we also have piercings and natural. So I think people also really like your natural look. Like I said, like your natural hair. Um, when you are just your natural true self that's something that really attracts people to you um when you're just being free to be yourself um and maybe also when you're not so done up um so maybe you do tend to like do yourself up whatever like put on put on your fanciest clothes and look all professional and stuff and that's really nice and sexy and great but also when you're just comfy cozy dressed down maybe just hanging out in your a sweater like a hoodie and some pajama pants or shorts um and your hair is just whatever um or you have like a hat on no makeup if you're a girl whatever just like very natural that is something that's you just look really good and really attractive like that yeah, like when you're more natural, maybe like in your hippie boho style, like you're out of work clothes. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so that is what I have for you, pile one. That's what makes you so sexy and attractive and desirable to other people. I hope that that resonated with you. Um, now we're going to get into the extended and see who is coming towards you. Who are you attracting with this energy? Who are you manifesting? Because you seem to be manifesting a lot of things. So... Yeah, we're going to get into that in the extended. If you're interested in that, you can view that on Vimeo. Otherwise, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. So if you chose this Amazonite, then this is going to be your reading about you and what makes you so attractive and desirable and lovable and sexy, whether this is to just the outside world and just people in general, or this is to that one special person that you're thinking about. Um, however you want to apply that, um, I'm just going to be referring to people in general, but you can just, you know, if it's about a specific person, just go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so we have your first tarot card here, and I'm also going to be pulling some more tarot cards and oracle cards and also some personality traits that people are really attracted to about you and physical characteristics as well. Um, also, we have an extended to this reading. And um, in the extended, we're going to see who are you attracting with your energy. So who is coming towards you um, romantically. So we, we are focusing on romance. Um, so that's, that's that. Because I did for pile one, I kind of kept it like, I don't even know if I kept it open, but it was definitely romantic. So um, we're just going to go with that. So let's begin the reading. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so you first of all, you could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So that could just confirm that this is your reading, but it doesn't have to be. You, maybe even you just have that in your chart somewhere. Um, or there's just the energy that you embody. But I feel like you're a very, first and foremost, intelligent, intellectual, smart, driven, um, action-oriented person, okay? Um, you're a very good communicator. Although maybe sometimes you're 
you could be a little direct and blunt and straightforward but this is something that is attractive about you because you kind of just say it how it is and say what it is and people don't have to wonder you know what's going on in your head you kind of just say it sometimes you might just say things impulsively and blurt them out maybe you don't have a filter but I think it's refreshing to people because a lot of people hold back on speaking their truth and being authentic and you know tr genuinely expressing themselves you know and they have to wonder like was this person just saying that to be nice you know or are they holding back on something because they don't want to hurt my feelings or because they're scared to talk like what the fuck is going on um but with you it's like okay i know what i'm getting this person talks like this person's gonna tell me what's going on so that is something that um people find really refreshing about you you know it's it's nice um, and I don't think that you're just a completely cold, insensitive person. I'm sure there's way more to you and we'll pull some more cards. But this is just slowly going off the Knight of Swords energy. Um, so yeah, I think that you talk really fast. <laughs> um, you, or yeah, it's like there's this, um, I feel like maybe when you express yourself, you're very, like, you're not slow, okay? You're not like, like Eckhart Tolle. You know, that's a perfect example. He is very slow when he talks. There's a lot of pauses in between. And it's nice. Like, I love listening to him. But I feel like you are just like, you you, you talk very quickly and you get it out there and there's no time to waste. <laughs> okay? And yes, it's a very fast energy. Um, but yeah, I, what people are really attracted to about you is that you're a fighter. You're a warrior. Okay? You don't give up. You stand up for causes that are right and you, there's a lot of things that you believe in and that you do fight for. I think you also notice injustice and whenever there is injustice around you, um, you stand up for the underdog. You stand up for something like that's happening. If someone's getting bullied, um, if, if someone's being mistreated or talked shit about behind someone's back, you are the person that's like, hey guys, like, I don't think that's cool. You know, this person's not here to defend themselves. Like, why are we talking about this person? Or I don't think that person's this bad, that, that person's that bad. You know, like, why are you guys talking smack? Um, I don't know. I just feel like you really don't like to see unfairness and injustice and bullying you're a fighter, you're a warrior, but not in the kind of way where you bully people, in a way where it's about the truth, because the swords are about truth, okay? And this guy is like so intently looking at his sword. So you're all about the truth and nothing but the truth. And this is heavy like Libra energy too, you know? Like just justice and fairness and balance and harmony. And if it might seem like sometimes you actually create conflict because of how maybe abrasive you are or how impulsive you are or how direct you are. It might seem like you're actually creating conflict, but it's like those truths have to be said because you're like so about the truth. Like those things have to be said in order for peace to be had. But like we can't have peace pretending like everything's okay. We have to address the issue. We have to go there. And you're the person that's going to go there. Okay, you're the person that's going to address these things and talk about them and bring them up and be like, that's that's not okay. Let's, you know, change this. Let's um, address this, whatever. Um, and that might be a little bit like it could create some conflict temporarily but in the end it leads to peace because now you have resolved an issue um and you know so you're not the type that's just gonna brush it under the carpet or whatever like you're the type that's gonna address it and face it like no mercy you're all about justice and this is just really attractive to people because like i said it's really different it's really refreshing you're really authentic in your expression um you don't hold back you really don't hold back um let's pull some more cards for you so what else makes Kyle 2 so attractive? And desirable. We have the Three of Cups. I think you're a lot of fun to be around. You're like a good party person or a going out with person or... Okay, yeah, you're like very spontaneous. Um... You're definitely not boring and you're not like really traditional. And I think that you're the type of person that like if someone calls you and says, hey, and like it's legit, like you have no plans. Like, I mean, like you had no plans with this person and you plan on staying in. And then somebody calls you and says, hey, you want to go out and like do do this, do something, go on an adventure or go grab a, some dinner or go have a drink or whatever. 
You're the type of person that's been like, yes, I'm down. Let's go. Even though you're already in your pajamas and stuff. Like, you will get dressed, put on your stuff, and go. Um, because you're all about living life. You're all about having fun. You're all about... You know, and this doesn't have to be fun and like, oh, you want to get fucked up and like get drunk and stuff like that. Like fun as in like adventure. You want to see the world. You want to experience life. You want to meet new people. You want to be around people. I think you're a very social person. You're um, good company. Yeah, people really like your company. I think a lot of your friends love you. Um, um, whoever your circle is, like the people that you're friends with, emotionally connected to, they really do love to hang out with you. So that's just like a little extra. Um, your friends love you and they love to hang out with you. And they especially love how adventurous and spontaneous you are and how you'll just tell them how it is. You'll tell them the truth. They know that these people can come to you with whatever questions that they have because you're going to give it to them straight. And there's no bullshit. You're going to be honest. You're very honest. Um, you also have the Page of Cups. So, okay, that's that's that. There it is. There it is. What I was saying, like, you're probably not just a super cold person and just like an asshole. You probably have more to you <laughs> well yes you do the page of cups so your communication comes from love um it does come from the heart it does come from good intentions it's very pure um and it is very emotion based you are true to yourself like you're true to your heart so it's not just logical and um it's it's like you're driven by feeling good you're driven by happiness you're driven by joy but the way that you express that is a very direct way. It's very, like, straightforward. You don't beat around the bush. You just say it like it is. And you take action. Like, yeah, another thing that people love about you is that when you have, like, an intuitive gut feeling to do something, you're the, you're the person that's going to act on that right away and take action. Like, if you're like, ooh, okay, I really feel like I need to fly to California right now because of this, 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 and this. Or I need to fly to Mexico, or I need to go to Florida, or I need to go to um, Arizona. I don't know. <laughs> I'm obviously calling out all the warm places because it's cold here where I'm at. But yeah, like you just want to go somewhere. You're going to be the person that's going to book up a flight right away and go, you know? Like you don't wait. You don't mess around. You're about... You take action. <laughs> and it's like some people don't... If you're like this, you might question like, what? You mean other people don't do that? What do they do? And it's like, well, other people, they, you know, try to cross, like, which is fine too. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But there's just people who are who take their time. They think things through. They research 500 different hotels before they decide on one. Whereas you, you kind of follow your gut feeling. You know, you have a you have an intuitive feeling of like this is right, this feels right, this is good. Okay, let's take an act, let's act on it, let's buy it, let's book it. You know, you're not just impulsively booking things and buying things left and right. You're follow you're you're guided by your intuition. You're guided by your heart. Um, very spontaneous, very go with the flow energy. I'm getting from you. Like I said, a lot of fun to be around. Um, people love to celebrate with you and they really have a good time with you. You're, you're a lot of fun, good energy. Like just you lift people up. You're funny. You, you're very funny too. You make people laugh. More Gemini energy here with the Eight of Swords. Um, and we also have the Page of Cups is water. So that's Scorpio, Pisces, and um, Cancer. So... I'm actually going to clarify the Eight of Swords because, I don't know. I know that being an air, like if you are an air sign or if you just resonate with this energy, one of the negatives about it is like, yeah, you are so quick-witted. You are so logical. You're always like on it, very alert, very clear-minded, um, very sharp. But that also means you're always in your head you know and I just feel like with the eight of swords like you do maybe have a tendency to like get inside your head a lot and overthink things and that could like keep you sometimes from moving like fear and doubt and things like that but I just it's just a little confusing because um what's the eight of swords I almost feel like yeah like you're not dealing with that we have 10-4. I don't know. 10-4 is standing out. October 4th. I don't know. It's just there. But um, 10 of Wands and the 4 of Cups.
oh yeah okay transformation i was like i i need i need more <laughs> okay yeah you're transformed you've transformed this energy this is something that you have healed or let go of or worked through i think that um what makes you really attractive is that you don't let fear hold you back you don't let fear like stop you from doing what it is that you feel called to do because you are such a quick thinker and like quick decision maker and you're like okay i feel it it feels good everything makes sense let's go let's do it you know you 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 pursue things like you don't wait around you don't take your time when you love someone you're like i love you i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna wear my heart on my sleeve you're my person like that's it you know like you just don't hold back and i think maybe you used to hold back in the past um, maybe you used to let fear hold, like, keep you away from expressing yourself truly. And this created a lot of missed opportunities for you. Um, a lot of good connections that you missed out on because of this fear that held you back. Um, it exhausted you. And this is something that you let go of with the Ten of Wands. You know, this was very heavy and burdensome for you to live that way. Um, you didn't feel emotionally fulfilled. You felt very disconnected from your truth and your emotions. And this is, with the death card, this is something you brought to an end. You know, this is something that you transformed. This is Scorpio energy, eighth house. Like, you went into that deep, dark place to address this about yourself. And you're like, I don't want to be that way. I don't want to live limited. I don't want to live limited by my own fears and my own thoughts. You know, I want to be free. I want to be free. I want to be this Knight of Swords and this Page of Cups. Like, and, and have fun with people. I want to have these connections. And, um... Maybe in the past, your fears, like your anxiety and maybe social anxiety too, you know, communication, like anxiety around communicating, um, maybe that really made you feel really lonely and you missed out, like you, like, cause look, we have the three of cups there and it's like, he's not looking at the three of cups. He's looking at that one slow ass cup that's coming on a turtle and, um, the way I'm interpreting this is like that three of cups is what you have now. And these are your your close people. These are your friends, your family, your loved ones, your lover. Like, like the people in your life that genuinely love you, your tribe. And now you're so free to, like, you found them. You know, you found these people and you have them in your life because you transformed this energy. But in the past, you didn't have that, you know. And... You, you were like, I don't want to live a life like that. I want to let go of that because I'm missing my tribe. Like, I'm missing my people. I'm missing my lover. And maybe um, this is just like a side message. Like, maybe you were neglecting your friendships because you were, you were focused on a relationship. Like, you were focused on love. So maybe you were, like, in a serious long-term relationship with someone or you were, like, just waiting for someone to come to you or just like really focused and maybe even obsessed with like a soulmate or someone like that and it took all of your time and energy like it took it over like it all you did is think about them obsessively like that's all you can focus on it was very heavy and burdensome like it was tiring and it just wasn't making you happy and this is something that you knew you had to kill this is something you knew you had to transform and you had some sort of a rebirth and now your main priority is to be like i said true to yourself and authentic and to express yourself freely and not hold back anymore. And this has brought so many beautiful connections into your life. And you're just much more balanced now with the Six of Pentacles. You're so much more balanced. You um, found your center. And you brought an end. Yeah, you brought an end to that painful way of thinking and being and um, just living in fear and doubt and like caring about what other people think of you and being judged by other people, getting approval from others. It was just like killing you. Um, and so you got more in touch with your heart space, with the King of Cups, like your deeper emotional self. What, what do I want? What do I feel? Like, what makes me happy? You know, fuck all this, like what makes sense? What makes me happy? And then look, we have the King and Queen of Cups. You know, these are counterparts. So this is just like beautiful relationships you know maybe like some sort of like a soulmate or a counterpart or something like that where like that is something that you strive for and like the way that you can manifest if you are single like the way that you can manifest that is by being your true self um and if you already have manifested it then look how beautiful like that that's what came to you okay so let's see what else so what makes pile two so 
attractive and desirable. And by the way, this is all stuff that people either know about you or they pick up about on about you. Um, I also think that your mouth, okay, it's so, so random, but I think that like your, your like mouth, area is really sexy so maybe you have like really nice lips or nice teeth or a really beautiful smile or like the way you express yourself is beautiful the words that you use maybe you're very articulate and eloquent um you, you like just the the words that you use are just they flow and they're inspiring um maybe the way your mouth moves when you talk is just like really sexy to people they like to watch your mouth move they like the things you do with your mouth something to do with your mouth is just really attractive to people and and your laugh your your laugh is really sexy people love your laugh and also your shoulders and whenever you wear a shirt that's kind of like um shoulderless you know like a whatever they're called like they're below your shoulder so like your shoulder and your neck is exposed um especially if you're a woman that is really really sexy on you and people find that really attractive it looks really good on you um and if you're a guy or i guess a girl like just like your naked upper body <laughs> Um, but especially like your back, shoulder area, like your front, like neck, chest area. And also, I think you look really sexy in a bathing suit because like we have two people here in bathing suits and in a one piece specifically. So if you like to wear one pieces, <laughs> um, that's something that you look, you look really good in. And also just whenever you are just in your bathing suit, um, it's like in the summer, you just glow. Um... And also, whenever you're like meditating, it's just really sexy. So I don't know if people have seen you meditate or you have like, maybe you post pictures of yourself like meditating on Instagram or you share your stories, like just what you do or maybe not specifically meditate. Maybe you do like share videos and stuff. But um, when you're just in your like more meditative state where maybe like you hang out with people and you're like okay everyone let's just meditate together for like your little tribe you're like okay let's meditate together and people find that really attractive about you and it could be even platonic you know they just like they like that you can get them centered as well and find their own inner peace you know maybe you guide you do guided meditations or something like that or if if you do have a lover that you're thinking of um they're really attracted to when you're just like being when you're yeah because okay you're such a go 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 person you're so impulsive you're kind of manic like <laughs> kind of all over the place right in your mind like your mind's like going from one place to another uh, so fast and it's maybe hard to calm you down so whenever they do fi finally get you to calm down you're just like sitting and you're just chilling you're just being or you're meditating or you're just like in that meditative energy or space, like more calm, it's really, really um, brings them a lot of pleasure and it's really attractive because it's like you're not just about like go, 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 but you're also able to just be and just relax and enjoy the moment. And I think it's that balance that you have that is really attractive because they, they can have a lot of fun with you because you're you'll always you'll be you're always down for an adventure and something new. You're always down for a new conversation. You're, you're, yeah, like you're so, you love deeper conversations. You can go there. Like you have the mental, oh my God, you have the mental capacity to talk forever, for hours. People love to talk to you, especially on the phone. Like maybe all these friends that you have or like your people, um, you really talk to them a lot on the phone, like long conversations. Um, you can handle a lot mentally. Maybe you really like trivia games or just board games or any sort of game that like stimulates your mind that's very important to you. I think you also like to learn a lot of new things and you're always learning something new. And that's also very inspiring to others and they think it's attractive that you're so curious and always on the on the move with learning something new. Like you're never dull, you're not boring, you're not dull, you're fun, you're interesting, you're intriguing, you're like unique, you're, it's always like, well, what next for pile two? Like, what are they doing now? What are they gonna say now? Even the things that you say, it's like, it's always like a, either a new perspective that you impart on someone or it's like a different conversation that you're able to have, something that you guys haven't talked about yet. 
um, you can just really hold up a conversation and go and really have the mental energy to go because like I've met some people who you talk to and they max out at hour or not even hour at like minute five they're just like okay I'm done like I just can't and then you you're just like so active in your mind and so stimulated that you can just go 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 and talk about even more things and let's talk about this let's play this game let's do that um yeah very mental person and it's just it's attractive you know especially attractive to people who are also like that who are also very mental because you guys can really connect um intellectually mentally yeah okay yeah we got transformation at the bottom so that confirms this scorpio energy that i was saying that Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So people do sense this healing, um, this transformation that you have gone through. Okay, there's definitely like a before after version of you, I think, like pretty prominent. It, pre it like stands out. Um, and even if like people didn't know you from before, um, they still sense that there's something, you know, or when you tell them about it, like it's just something that's really attractive to people that you are the type to figure figure things out like things that aren't working for you you're willing to figure it out address it and sort of heal it um no it's funny pile one had the yes card and you have the no card yes you do you have really um you're you're it's like you can say no you can say no pile one couldn't really say no pile one was more like a yes person um and they had trouble saying no but they still did but in like a yes kind of way <laughs> i feel like you um you're just like very direct. Like somebody asks you like, hey, does my hair look good right now? No, it doesn't, you know? And, and you don't necessarily say it in like a mean way. You're just like, no, I don't think that's the best look for you. Um, or like, hey, do you wanna go out tonight? You know what, no, I'm okay. Like, I know you're very adventurous and you probably would say yeah, <laughs> but if you genuinely can't do something, you're, you're not gonna like, why, you know, you're just like very direct in, in a way where I don't even think it's offensive. I think it's just so refreshing that you're just like gonna say it like it is, like how you feel it. But it's not coming from an asshole, arrogant type of like mentality. People can sense that you love them, like you you still are playful because we have play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Um, you're not a serious person, but you just are very direct. It's literally just like a personality thing. You could be also Sagittarius. That's also like that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, not so much Libra, but um, Aquarius and Gemini as well. Aries too, I would say. But just like very direct, blunt, um, you know, straightforward. It just, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, and then with the play card here, you know how to play. You know how to have fun. So these are kind of just repeating messages. So I don't want to spend too much time on those because we have to move on to some personality traits. So what about pile two is sexy and attractive and like desirable to other people or the person that they're thinking of? What makes them so attractive and desirable? Calm. Yeah, I told you. Whenever it is that you are calm, people are really drawn to that because i don't think you're like that often weird and unique yeah you're just you own it man you're different you're weird and you own it you don't care but you are very protective of the people that you love yeah like that um justice energy where you speak up for injustice you stand up for injustice you don't you're not cool with that like you always protect your people and not even your people, any people like people are being mistreated and you're going to go over there and be like, no, <laughs> you're very motivating, inspirational. People are very, very inspired by you. The way you talk, the way you express yourself, the way you're so unique and authentic, the way you're so um, confident in yourself and self-assured and strong and independent and just like, you know who you are and you are okay with that and like you own who you are you know and you're not trying to people please you're not trying to do any of that you're just like and you're not letting things hold you back you're you go with the flow you go with what you want you you go with your heart you follow your soul like mm, it's so inspiring like the way that you are the way you live your life 
Okay, let's actually move on to physical characteristics. We do have curious at the bottom. So yeah, you're always learning something new, curious about things. Okay, so tattoos. So if you have any tattoos that um, makes you extra sexy um, or whatever, who have, if this person really loves your tattoos. <laughs> um, nice teeth, so your teeth are really attractive. <laughs> your smile. Um, like I said, your mouth, didn't I say? Your mouth area, something about your mouth. <laughs> green eyes. Okay, so your eyes are beautiful, especially if they're green, they're just, they, you know, people love it. Um, younger. Yeah, you have a very youthful energy. You appear to be younger than you are as well. You probably you look younger than your age. You act younger than your age. It's not to say you're not mature emotionally, but you're playful. You have this youthful, childlike energy. You're going to have fun. You're going to play. You're going to be free. You're going to be unique and quirky and expressive and uninhibited and just like, fuck it. I just want to do my thing. Like that's your energy. And it's so magnetic. It's so irresistible to people. Um, it's very like young, younger and, and like they feel like people feel young with you when they're around you, you know, you make them like not be so serious. What else? Okay, yeah. A lot of things are just like confirming, you know, all the things I already mentioned. But um, we had broad, we have broad shoulders and muscular and built. So if, um, yeah, like if you are more like muscular and built, you know, that's something that people find really sexy about you. You're toned, you know, just like you got some muscle on you. Um, and also broad shoulders. So even if you don't have broad shoulders, I was saying something about your shoulders, right? Like if you were like um, sleeveless shirts or when your shoulders are exposed, it's just something that's really sexy. Um, something to, if you're a man, like something to hold on to and grab onto, it, or just like very m manly and muscular. <laughs> um, or if you're a woman, then it's just very sexy and like very like seductive and sensual when your your shoulders are showing. And also we have hats, so maybe you just look really good with hats on. Um, like you really could rock a hat, <laughs> whatever. Okay, you have the type of face that can just wear a hat and look good. Um, I think, I think that's it. I kind of just want to get one more card. I know, I know, I know. One more card. What makes pile two so damn sexy? Like an additional message. Okay, that's not additional, but we have Justice card coming out. So that's exactly what I was saying earlier about Justice. Um, and that's Libra energy, by the way. You're all about the truth. Nothing but the truth. It's super attractive. Like, you don't, um, you don't settle. You don't let things slide. Like, if, if they're not fair and if they go against your moral standards and your values, you stand up for it. Like you fight for it. <laughs> okay. Um, we also have the page of swords. There you go. Wait. Oh, that's the knight of swords. Okay. I thought we already had that. Yeah. Page of swords, education. So very similar to the knight of swords energy. Um, yeah, there's heavy air Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming through here. Um, you're very educated as well. When you speak, you sound smart. You sound educated. You sound like, you know what you're talking about. Um, maybe you have like a certain area or expertise that you're really knowledgeable about. Like for me, it would be tarot. <laughs> so if I'm talking to someone about tarot or like astrology or numerology, someone who knows nothing about it, they would be like, oh my God, she's so educated on astrology. When really, I don't think that I am, but like, because they don't know anything about it, I sound so smart. Um, so you probably have something that you are an expert at and when you talk about it. It's just really sexy when you talk about your passion or something that you know a lot about and the way you express yourself is just so authentic and just the words that you use it is just um, people it's like people love listening to you when you talk yeah they love to hear your voice they love to see you talk they love to hear you talk they love to hear you talk about the things you talk about like it's just very inspirational and motivational um, and interesting people are curious about you and what you have to say and what's in your mind what, what the knowledge you have like tell me more about that like tell me you know how did you learn about this like yeah just they just want to know more because you have so much to um so much information so much knowledge so much wisdom so much 
energy to talk <laughs> to. Um, okay, so that's what I have for you, pile two. Now we're going to get into the extended to see what, who are you attracting with this energy, with your sexiness, okay? Who is coming towards you romantically? Who is this person that's coming towards you romantically? Or maybe they're already in your life and this is just a confirmation. Um, if you are interested in that, I left the time or the um, link in the description box below that you can view on Vimeo. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I wish you all the best. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. So if you chose this beautiful amethyst crystal, this is going to be a reading about what makes you so attractive and desirable and sexy and lovable and all the things to other people, um, to the public, <laughs> or if there's a person that you're thinking about, then to this person. Um, however you want to apply that. I'm going to be referring to it as like general, but you know, if this is just, you want to know how your person, what your person loves about you the most, and that's how you shall view it. Um, so yeah, we have your for, oh, also we have an extended to this reading. So in the extended, we're going to get into who are you attracting with all of the sexiness that you are. And so like, who's coming towards you? Um, you know, who? from the energy that you emit <laughs> out into the world. So if you're interested in that, you can view that on Vimeo in the link in the description box. Okay, so I have your tarot card here. We're gonna be pulling some oracle cards, more tarot cards, some personality characteristics about you and some physical traits as well to see what people find the most attractive about you. So your card is, okay, <laughs> the queen of wands. So if i were to describe an energy that would fit into like being the most desirable attractive sexy magnetic lovable it would be the queen of wands like hands down the queen of wands wins over the empress over the queen of pentacles over the nine of pentacles too um the queen of wands the reason she stands out to me so much and you don't have to be a girl for this but it's just, it's so fiery. It's like, it's fire, right? Wands. So this is Aries Leo, Sagittarius, by the way. But she's just so um, passionate and she's got that, she's driven by her soul, you know? And it's just like a very passionate, um, flowy type of energy, very aligned, um, soulful energy. And I think that's why it's so attractive, why you're so attractive is because you're so soulful. Um, it's, it's very like, I don't even know how to describe it, but you know, fire is hot. It's warm. People are drawn to it. Um, people want to go by it to feel good and get warm and, and be cozy and be comfortable. And that's the energy that you have. Like that's what's, that's what's attractive about you is how warm and vivacious and lovely <laughs> and pleasant to be around that you are. I think you're also very pleasant to look at. So I think physically you're very beautiful, sexy, attractive, pretty, cute, handsome, hot, like gorgeous, whatever word you want to use for that. I think that physically there's something about you that's really magnetic and it draws people to you. They want to have their, people have their eyes on you. Okay. So many people have their eyes on you. You are the center of attention. Wherever you walk into, you're the center of attention because of your beauty and your grace and your your um like physical attractiveness but also because of your that light it's like you it's that leo energy it's like the sun energy you carry that light you carry that everything you do is with passion everything you talk about is with passion even if it has nothing to do with sex you still sound like you're not that you talk it sound like you're talking about sex but like you're so passionate about it. you can you can describe this tarot card with passion you know, like, mm, look at these circles and they're just so beautiful and the red against the gold. And I don't know, it's just, um, you have so much fire and energy. You have so much energy. Um, and it's so soulful and authentic and it comes straight from, like I said, like the depths of your soul, from your heart, from instinct, um, that it's just, it's not boring. It's not monotone. You're like, you have that umph, okay? So that's some some of some of your energy, <laughs> but I mean I could go on and on about this, and I will because um, you deserve this. What makes you so desirable and attractive is one of the things is um, I think people are really sexually attracted to you. I think you're a very sexy person. Like um, 
it, there, sexy people don't necessarily have to be like physically attractive. It's just the sexiness to them. Like the way they move, you know, the way they, yeah, it's like the way they move, the way they talk, the way they express themselves. Like it's just the whole thing. It's a whole vibe. And you have that about you. You're just, you got that sexy vibe, you know? So I think um, you have a lot of sexual energy, a lot of like passionate, creative energy. You know, that's really what that is. You're very creative. Um, you you manifest really quickly and easily. You get what you want and you don't really have to do much for it. Like that that's this energy is you're you just kind of are there and people flock to you. Like people attract to you. And even if it's it's not even just people, it's like things. Like things you desire and want all sometimes all you have to do is align your energy and you hardly have to put in any effort and you get it. Because it's like that strong of like a magnetic energy that you have to to energy. Um yeah and it's very beautiful you're very very beautiful and sensual and sexy and kind of provocative even maybe the way that you dress is very a little bit showy maybe like you're not afraid to show skin you know you're um free with your body like expressing yourself like with your body like you, you don't care if you're wearing short shorts or you know a thong you know as a bikini or if you're showing some belly or arms whatever like you're all about that uh you you're kind of like a free spirit maybe kind of like a hippie like like that's kind of your vibe and people really are attracted to that um you're uh intense you're fiery you're passionate, you're seductive, um, you're a temptation to a lot of people, I'm not gonna lie, like, a lot of people are tempted by you, and want you, like, a lot of people want you, either, you know, sexually, like, they want to mm -mm you, or they just want you around, like, they want to talk to you, they want you in their energy field, or they want to be your friend, they want to get to know you, like, you just have that energy where people just want to be around you, so you probably notice that when go to the grocery store even just like the cashier starts talking to you because you have this openness like your energy is really open it's not closed off you're not like stoic or guarded you have walls up like you have this very free flowing free spirited open energy very expansive energy um and friendly like you you're friendly right the queen of wands is very friendly she's very charming and personable and fun and funny um and just very warm, right? It's just very warm to be around. So definitely you're not like, you could be intimidating in a way where like you're too sexy and like people are afraid to talk to you, but you're not intimidating because you're a bitch or like you're an asshole, you know, or you have that face, the, the resting bitch face. Like you don't have that. Like you're, you smile, you have good energy, you're positive. So, you know, people do feel comfortable going up to you, but then they're also intimidated because it's like, damn, like this person's like from really attractive so uh let me start stuttering in three two one <laughs> so yeah you just have this you're very exciting um you're very beautiful but also a lot of inner beauty and that's like a lot of that is like physical and like external stuff and maybe you can call it superficial or whatever but it is what it is like that's why we're here doing this reading what makes you attractive and desirable <laughs> um and that's okay you know like physically you're very very attractive and desirable but also an energy um yeah, you're just very alluring and um, maybe you are a little bit like erotic and freaky, um, spicy, naughty, <laughs> you know, very flirtatious. So yeah, people love that. Um, but also just like you're very confident and friendly and accepting of others. And just like very magnetic <laughs> you're kind of like you're very vibrant radiant you're a social butterfly um you go after your dreams you're very creative and strong and independent um you could also be spiritual and kind of like witchy so you could be into like the occult or like metaphysical subjects or you know just spiritual things um <laughs> just spirituality you're just a spiritual person um, so that could be anything like tarot, obviously, um, astrology, you know, synchronicities, like you, you follow the guidance of the universe and that's how you talk. Like, that's just like your way of expressing yourself. So that's definitely something that people are attracted to. And you're a little bit mysterious as well. Like people can't exactly figure you out. 
um and they don't like there's just so much to you you're very dynamic you're 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 a little bit of everything you know you're a little bit of everything you're pretty special you're pretty special yeah you're very dynamic and authentic and strong independent you're not afraid to speak up for yourself to speak your mind um you're very empowering inspiring motivating um you probably encourage others to follow their dreams and to live true to themselves and maybe you just do this through your own energy um you're very visually striking and like people are smitten by you <laughs> okay that was literally 10 minutes of talking about who you are and how amazing you are from this one card so anything else you'd like to add to that <laughs> We got it. Pile three is sexy as hell in all the ways. Um, how else is pile three attractive and desirable? The nine of cups. Oh, you also are just a very happy person. So it's like you're genuinely like this. It's not even just like an illusion or like for show. Like you're genuinely a happy person. Justice. Okay. The six of wands. Oh my God. Oh my God. The magician. I don't even know if I could do this energy justice, honestly, like with the, like, I don't even know if I have the vocabulary or the capability to give it justice because to give it justice, justice is here and you want justice probably. Um, I don't know if I can because it's just so much. It's like amazing. The nine of cups, the justice card and the six of wands. Like, are you kidding me? And the magician, you're magical, you're mystical, you're mysterious you're wanted you're like on a pedestal like i don't even know the six of wands literally she is um the set the six of wands you know he's well in the traditional tarot he's being celebrated by everybody around him he's on his horse and he's the he's the center of attention and everyone is um cheering for him and you're getting recognition publicly and praise and admiration and everyone's just like happy for you you know uh, so you might actually be in the public eye in some way or have like some sort of a position at work where everybody like looks up to you or comes to you for help or advice or you're like a the boss or a manager or something like that. Or this is your energy. Like I'm telling you, this is just your energy. Like you could definitely be a Leo. You could definitely be a Leo or an Aries or Sagittarius or just have that maybe as your rising sign too or I don't know, somewhere. Um, But you have really strong like leadership energy um people look up to you and they genuinely do put you on a pedestal like they people think you're very special and unique and like all the things like the whole package like people think you're the whole package even people who aren't trying to date you like just friends that you have or like just co-workers or just whatever i think generally people tend to flirt with you a lot you have this very flirtatious energy, so it's easy. Um, like, you don't mind it, I don't think. And everybody around you is like, well, obviously, I can't have pile three. Or obviously, I'm in a relationship. Or obviously, that's never going to happen because of whatever reasons. But damn, pile three is definitely, like, a jackpot deal. That's you. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and very spiritual, too. You just choose the stone. And the queen of wands is, again, like, just very spiritual. And with the magician here... Um, like I said about that manifestation energy, it's really easy for you to create abundance and get what you want. Um, I think people notice this about you and the nine of cups as well is about wish fulfillment. So it's like you, you make a wish and the genie grants your wish, you know? And I kind of think that like for, for just like a small example, let's say you're at work and let's say you work for tips and you're, you tell your coworkers, you're like, I'm going to make $300 today in tips and maybe they're laughing at you at first like okay cool like good luck with that um it's not supposed to be busy today so like I don't know how that's gonna happen but good luck with that and you just go about your life you go about your day being the vibrant radiant sexy happy positive radiant I already said radiant but you know like there's just a very um high vibrational energy you go about your day you freaking get lucky you you have some people give you like a, a big tip you know you have another group of people or however you're making money like you know guests customers give you a big tip and at the end of the day you make your 300 and everybody else made a hundred dollars or twenty dollars and you're like damn i made my money but you weren't rubbing it in their face you weren't showing off you weren't being boastful you just were shining in your light 
being in your beautiful energy and you attracted all of this abundance, you made your money and there it was and everybody saw. Everybody witnessed the power of being a magician or a creator or a manifester. You showed it to them and you weren't throwing it in their face. You were just being you and you inspired the fuck out of these people because they're like, what? And then they see you. You know, these people see you walking around all like genuinely high vibrational. Like you're not pretend happy. You're not like secretly depressed or you hate things and you're like managing your stress and depression. You're genuinely, you genuinely have like a positive perspective. You genuinely um, don't really want to complain about bullshit. You don't want to go there. You don't want to gossip. Like you're not about that. Like you're above that. Like let's, let's talk about real things that matter. Let's talk about, um, let's try to see this from a new perspective. Let's have fun with people. Let's have fun. I don't know. It's just like, you don't really like drama and conflict, especially with this justice energy. Like you don't want conflict. You really like peace in your environment and harmony. And you like to create that. Um, and so it's genuine for you. So people are watching you, whoever's around you, um, it's like your community or whatever, like work, especially like people at work, if you do go to work somewhere and there's people around you, like, or even if you were just work with customers or clients, um, or even just in your regular everyday life, like whatever it is that you do, your friends, even your lover, um, they observe that you just, you live in this energy and they see all of the abundance that comes to you from that energy. And you're not necessarily talking about it or showing them or telling them. They just see it. They're like, damn, that, well, that worked out for pile three. Oh, damn. They weren't worried. They weren't complaining and stressing and that worked out for them. Okay. And they're like taking notes. They're like writing down. Okay. How, how do I, how do I do that? <laughs> so yeah, that's, it's just, it's beautiful. You like manipulate energy. Like, like it's second nature to you. Um, magician also came out for pile one. So, okay, with this justice energy, justice is ruled by Venus, okay? Venus is like the planet of love and beauty and romance, um, sensuality, um, money as well. So you're probably really good with money. Um, you make good money or it's easy for you to make money. Again, manifestation. So that's also really attractive to people. But also this beauty, like again, you have this grace, this beauty to you. This is something that you just naturally emit. Like this isn't something, you don't have to dress up. You don't have to put on your makeup, do your hair, um, get all pretty in order to have that energy of beauty, okay? Your beauty it comes from within. Like your beauty is this energy, this radiance that comes from you and it just makes you beautiful, you know, it makes you beautiful. And then probably physically also it adds to your beauty. And also I think probably physically you like to take care of yourself because Venus energy, like that's like what they do. <laughs> I have a lot of Libras in my life and they're all beautiful and they all like to keep themselves, like they put in work and effort to put be beautiful. Like they pamper themselves. They like make sure that they look good, smell good, taste good. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, they pretty up. So that's something also that's really attractive to people. And also this sense of justice that you have. Um, you're very, you are quite blunt. Like I'm not, I'm, like you're, you don't, you're not like a little sweet, sensitive, um, like innocent energy. I'm not getting that. I'm getting like kind of bad bitch, like bad, bad girl, bad guy, bad boy, like badass. <laughs> okay. Um, but with a lot of love. So maybe like, and maybe not like a badass or bad boy, bad girl, but kind of like, like you have a dirty mouth. Like you don't shy away from sexual comments, conversations. Um, like I, I would assume like probably like a freak in the sheets and like you like to get down and dirty, you know, stuff like that. You are kind of provocative and you're sexy, you're sexual, like you're in touch with that, your sexuality, like you're free. So you don't hold back. So I'm not getting like goody two shoes, like sweet girl, sweet boy vibe. I'm getting like authentic. I'm owning myself. I'm fun. I'm passionate. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm like a cool, I don't know. I don't, I'm having trouble explaining that, but like a cool vibe. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, kind of like blunt, like a little bit more blunt um, straightforward. So not like sweet, nice, innocent, but like, kind of like, mm, even though the queen of wands is very friendly, 
she still stands up for herself, you know? No one walks over her. But you are sweet because of like the, the Libra energy. But still, it's about justice. This is about the truth, no mercy. So at the end of the day, like you're about, you're all about the truth. And you're going to say it. If you need to say it, you're going to say it. You're just going to say it passionately. You're just going to express it. And you don't care. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see. What makes pile three attractive? in addition to everything that we just talked about and yeah with the magician this is um gemini energy and virgo and it's all about communication so i think you are a really powerful communicator you're very inspiring and motivational when you talk you talk very passionately right it's very inspiring you can really motivate people and uplift people by just the way that you talk and express yourself um, but it is like more of a straightforward manner. Like you don't beat around the bush. You don't go around things. Like you just go directly to the thing and you say it in a very passionate, motivating way to where people aren't butthurt after. They're really inspired, but they're also like, damn, I needed to hear that. Like, damn, like that was the truth. And that was a little bit hard to hear, but I felt that pile three was coming from their, from love and their heart and they, they came because they cared. And, and that's why it was so powerful is because I needed to hear that. Like they didn't get, they gave it to me straight. They didn't sugarcoat it. And I needed that message, but they came from love. So I'm not, I don't feel rejected or butthurt. You know, you have this, this, you have mastered the art of motivation and getting across to people so that it sticks and it causes some sort of shift. That's something that you're really good at. And then, oh my God, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Star mo mother, how can you mother yourself? Is at the bottom, but we have Pleiades, um, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Yeah, for sure. So I, I would not even doubt it that you have a bigger mission here on this earth with this beautiful energy that you have, where you are so magnetic and attractive and it's so easy for you to do it. And for, you know, with the six of wands, like you could very well be an influencer, or like somehow publicly recognized or something. You can have a YouTube channel, you know. Um, you could be a healer, something like that, where you are changing the world, changing humanity. So you could be a starseed from Pleiades. And your mission is not only to live this human journey and to learn your own lessons um, and to develop your soul, but it is also through your own development of your soul and the own evolution, not development, but like evolution of your soul, um, you also help our con the human consciousness evolve as well so you also help raise the consciousness of the planet that is your mission so it's not it's justice yeah it's social like social awareness you're very socially aware and you want justice in this world and you also want people to know their power you want them to know that they are spiritual beings too and they can manifest and they can be in this energy that you are and you try to this is why you have this this um energy to you that you're able to get across to people because your mission is to bring light into people's lives your mission is literally to be the light <laughs> and you are doing that just by being you it's that easy and you might want to make it more professional and do something more one-on-one -on -one with people or whatever make a service out of it but just by like yeah so just like you just keep doing your thing and you're changing the world like honestly so let's see what other personality traits is attractive about pile three. You're very adaptable and versatile. So you flow, you go with the flow, you can change. You're not stuck to things. You're not attached to um, outcomes. You're not attached to plans. You're not um, fixated on like, okay, this is the way things need to be. And this is where we're going. And this, and then, and then, you know, you're very like mutable and changeable. And you're like, okay, well, let's, okay, cool. Like that's not going to work out. Let's go this way. Let's go that way. Like you're flexible and you don't get stuck up on, if your plans change, you go with the flow. And I think that's also, that's very important for manifestation because that's surrender that's going with the flow and you're not resisting and when you resist you don't get what you want you know you, you can't manifest because it's the energy's off so i think that that's another reason why you're able to do that is because you it's this fire energy that you have you can just 
roll with it, you know? We have rebellious. Yeah, I definitely see that. You are meant to change the world. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that sounds daunting. I know, but you are. That you have a bigger mission here. Like, you're meant to rebel against norms, against society, against the way people think, the way people do things. You're meant to create a new world. You're meant to show them how it can be done. You're meant, you're, you, you have come to teach humans how, how to do this. Like, being a star seed, you have come from a different planetary system. Like, right? you, probably lived in a dimension where it was just a lot more lighter and a lot more um conscious like you get just a lot more elevated right and you your soul signed up to come to earth because you're like okay i know i can help earth you know because i i come from this place this star system like where or this planet where um i've already evolved so much that i know that that's imprinted in my soul and i'm gonna come to earth and those things are going to, even if I'm not aware of this as a human, I'm going to feel it. I'm going to feel it intuitively. I'm going to, I'm going to be given, um, all of the astrological placements to make this like the most, um, the easiest for me to feel and to, to fulfill my mission, you know, and I'm going to set myself up with these types of experiences so that I can, um, gain the wisdom and remember who I am and then teach others so everything's been already like kind of planned like this is your soul contract and now you're here to help people rebel against this norm this tradition and like how they live their life and how us humans function with our programmed conditioned ways and mindset and to teach them new ways of being you know to have this justice on earth to have this peace and harmony and how we, we can function as as a nice society, if we just elevated and we became in touch with our true selves and we recognized our power and we um, stopped letting the government and like these authority figures control us and make us live in fear and the fear is not real and just all of it. Um, so yeah. And then we also have romantic. So you are a very romantic person. Okay. I had to go turn on the lights because it was getting a little dark. But um, yeah, so you're such a romantic person and... Uh, yeah, that's, that's just something that's really attractive about you. You're, you're, you're all about that love, <laughs> all about that love and romance and passion and sexuality. Like you're very comfortable in your body. People recognize that the way you walk, the way you carry yourself. You're very self-assured. Like you know what you want, you know where you're going. You, and you can tell by the way you walk. Like it's with purpose, you know? Leader, yes, you are definitely, you got that leader energy. People look up to you. They want they want more of you. And you have a lot of common sense. You're street smart. So that's where like, and loving. Yes, you're a very loving person. Um, that street smart, you know, energy. You probably have been through a lot, you know? Maybe you grew up in the hood or something. <laughs> I don't know. But um, maybe you didn't have an easy life and you had to learn a lot of, things on your own and that's what made you this very um strong person this empowered person so now we're doing physical traits what makes you physically so attractive like specifically so hippie boho style definitely getting that so the way you dress and and if it is like that boho style or just like very hippie vibes spiritual just loose clothing very natural earthy tones um it's just very attractive on you. It just looks good on you. Um, obviously, that won't resonate with everyone, but... Dimples. So your dimples are really attractive. They could be also above your butt if you have some dimples there, like on your back. Athletic. So maybe you are just like very flexible. Maybe you do yoga. Um, this person definitely looks very like flexible here. But yeah, maybe you're an athlete or you're just really good with your body. Facial hair. <laughs> so if you're a guy, your facial hair is really attractive. But if you're a woman, then maybe like your eyebrows are the way that they're done or they're just have really nice eyebrows. Also, I think you have a nice ass. Um, <laughs> because Libra, it does rule like the butt. Like Libra's all about the butts. So I would, I would say, I think it's safe to say if, if whatever, you have a nice butt, you know, people think you have a nice ass. 
However you feel about your ass is another story, but I think people really think that you have a nice ass, whatever that means and however that looks. Um, yeah, that was coming through mainly for that one. Also with um, this Gemini Virgo energy, hands, um, Mercury rules the hands. I think, or something like that. Well, Gemini does um, in like forums, but like her hands are like manipulating these two crystals or whatever. So I think you also might have really nice hands and um, maybe um, the way you touch like people, like you're very sensual and, you know, maybe you give good massages or romantically when you're with your person, like you're, you, you know how to work your hands. They really like that. Or maybe you create things with your hands, you know? And you're hot and sexy. I didn't even uh, talk about those. So if we needed more confirmation about that, you are definitely hot and sexy <laughs> to other people. And they people love your hair. So whenever it is that you have it curly or wavy, or maybe you do just naturally have curly, wavy, wavy, wavy hair. We also have Afro textured hair. So maybe you do have like more wild, crazy hair or just like thicker hair um, or just like curly, wavy, whatever. It looks really good like that and people really like it when you curl it or when you wear it curly um, or maybe just like your hair in general um, is really attractive to people and then we also have distinct voice at the bottom so there's something about your voice that really stands out to people and they find it very attractive it could just even be like the tone that you use when you like so passionately speak and then let's get a final message for pile three what makes them so attractive? The five of cups, grief and strength at the bottom. Bravery. I think like maybe you're not, um, you're not afraid to express emotion. Because you're so free-spirited and authentic, um, like, yeah, you're most of the time happy. You're, you're in this high vibration. You're smiling. You're laughing. You're bubbly. Like, you're, you know, great energy. But sometimes when you're sad and when you're going through a tough time, you don't hold back on expressing that, you know? Like, I just feel like you kind of are who you are in every moment of your life and i think you embrace your human journey like yes you're very spiritual and you have a big mission here but like that doesn't mean that you can't be human anymore that doesn't mean that you can't feel those other emotions that are more human <laughs> obviously you're still human like just because you're starseed like you're here now and you're human and so you can you 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 allow yourself to grieve you allow yourself to feel depressed and like all of those things and i think you gain a lot of strength from those experiences and that's what makes you so brave and powerful is because you're not a, you don't think you're above other people like you're very much in tune and in touch with this human journey and you go through hardships, you go through shit. Like just because you have such good energy and you can basically get anything you want and anyone you want doesn't mean that you don't struggle, doesn't mean you don't have issues, doesn't mean that you don't have like, you didn't get brainwashed as a child, <laughs> you know, just because you're over here changing the world and elevating humanity and raising consciousness doesn't mean that you don't have your own shit to work through. And as the queen of wands that you are, you do work through it because that's what the queen of wands says. She has that black cat in the front representing her shadow and she's owning it. You own your shadow. You own that I'm not perfect. I'm human. I have problems. I have wounds. I have issues. Yes, I do. And I'm strong because I admit that. And I'm strong because I'm willing to work through them and not pretend like I have them and, and pretend and not pretend like I don't have them, you know? And that just adds so much more value to you because now you're relatable to people. Now you're not just this unattainable perfection that is just, oh my God, pile three is so perfect. They do everything perfect. They probably don't have any problems. You're like, you show when you have a problem, like you show your vulnerabilities, you show your sadness, you know? And so the people around you see that like, oh, they're so amazing, but oh, they're human too. Like they're not just so perfect. Like they have problems too. Wow. Now I love them even more because 
they will understand me, I can relate to them, and they're not so unattainable. There's not that much jealousy anymore. Now there's just admiration. Now there's just re relating, you know? So I think that's a really good way of approaching this whole journey. Um, if you do really resonate with that starseed message, I think that that's a really good way to um, live up to that role. <laughs> um, it's to embrace being a human because you are human. So that is what I have for you, Pile 3. You do sound amazing. You really do. And I, I really hope that this resonated with you because that just means that there's just amazing people out there. And thank you for coming here and doing this human thing <laughs> and raising everybody's consciousness. Just keep doing your thing. Um, okay, so now we're going to get into the extended and see who are you attracting with this wonderful energy? I think that you're attracting like a thousand people. Like that's like obvious, but we're talking romantically. Who specifically, like seriously, are you attracting um, on a more personal, intimate level into your life? Who's coming towards you? We're going to get into that in the extended. If you want to view that, we're going to um, do that on Vimeo. Link is in the description box below. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.